welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another video for you. I'm going to be doing a vloggy style video, which is a little bit different to my usual. Today I'm going to be doing a room makeover video. Now, I'm saying makeover, but it's actually just never really been decorated or given much thought in the first place. So this is me finally returning home from my fourth year at university, for my fourth year at university, and feeling like I need to, you know, maybe make some effort in the space which I'm going to sleep and live in for the next year. So Jason and I yesterday went to Ikea, Sainsbury's, Donnell Mill, Argos, b and Bargains, loads of places, and picked up bits and pieces from my room. I'm gonna show you guys what my room looks like currently. So this is what my room looks like currently. So essentially, whilst I was in Barcelona, my parents moved into this house. So they kind of tried to make it look a little bit more homely for me and get some basics in for me to be able to at least sleep in a room. So they've given me this bed, which is actually my mum's old bed from her flat when she used to live, you know, on her own and whatever. And then they've also given me this massive wardrobe, which, to be fair, it's good because it holds all my stuff, but I'm, I'm not really fond of the style or anything, but I'm gonna make it work because, you know, I'm only living here really for fourth year university and then I might be heading elsewhere. So I'm just gonna work with what they've given me. So I've currently got this wardrobe, which has no doors yet because they literally just bought the frame. It was very bizarre. My parents have an odd way of decorating. So I've taken over from now on. I'm gonna kit this wardrobe out with some nice um, doors. So it looks a little bit more normal and then also bed here gonna have to do something so literally this is my room this bed which is pretty big and this wardrobe like honestly we do not have much space to work with i'm standing on the bed um so yeah i'm gonna get rid of this lampshade spruce up this room essentially i'm just working with what i've got trying to do a little bit of like an upcycle upcycles maybe the right word so yeah I'm gonna insert right now some clips of us yesterday doing shopping. Insert clips right now of me yesterday doing my shopping. Hey everyone, so Caitlin's having no makeup day today, so just please avoid the fact that I look like a corp. So we're gonna head to Ikea right now. Woo! <laughs> Oh, that'd be sad. Ooh, look at this little bit. See you thing. I got the lamp. We've managed to get everything. We've got the bits of furniture that we need to get from IKEA. I didn't film IKEA because we were kind of a bit tired and stressed, but we have got everything now bit squished. It's like a Ryanair flight. And we're gonna go back now and put it all together. So I will film that when we get back. doing my room up and it is finally done and that means it is time for the room tour. So I'm gonna show you my final room. I'm so excited. I was gonna do a room tour last night but by the time we got everything done and put together I was A tired and B it was getting pretty dark outside and I wanted to kind of show the room off in you know a little bit more natural daylight even though it did look pretty nice with my fairy lights kind of glowing in the dark but I'm going to show you the room tour today. 
it's finally all done and I'm so glad I start university tomorrow for you guys that will be today and it's just really nice to have it all done and completed so let's head over to my room and show you guys everything inside let's go so this is my room from the outside pretty boring we have a door with a handle ta-da this is my dressing gown it is white and I just hang on my door because I'm not allowed to put any kind of hooks in my door because the house is new it's just one of those rules anyway this is my room I have been sitting in my bed this morning, so it's not as perfect as it was, but you know, we cannot be too picky. So I'm just going to start off with, we've done like my dressing gown because that's boring. I'm going to start off with this little corner here. I have this box here, which I got from like a gifting PR package and I thought it was really nice. So I kept it for like a year or something and finally I've made use of it. So it's kind of just on its side. I've put my blanket here for winter time when I get cold. This is not my usual handbag, but when I'm going out and I need like something a little bit bigger, but not huge, that's what I use. It's just sitting there. My iPad slipped down the side here so I can kind of just grab it when I'm on my bed. These are my Ray-Bans, my alarm clock, which doesn't have any batteries in it, so, you know, it's just sitting there as decoration. And then just this lamp, which is, I think this was my sister's, but she's not using it, so I've got that here. And then these two are just boxes, which I like, and I put them there. That's my Pandora bracelet, which I got from my boyfriend for our anniversary. And then this is the packaging to something, which I will show you in a second. So then... We have the side of my wardrobe, which I kind of just put these random um, ivy vines, they're fake obviously, and they're from Amazon. And I just kind of drop them down the side to give this, because I didn't really want to walk into my room and just have a massive wardrobe side, you know? And then I've got some fairy lights just at the top. I did originally have them drooping down with the ivy, but it just looked way too much, so they're up there. Then I think we may as well just do this part of my room. So this is my bed. It is mainly stuff that I've already got. So I twisted the ivy, which I had left over from the side of the wardrobe. I twisted that around the headboard. As I already mentioned, this whole bed frame was my mum's bed frame from when she used to live like alone before she met my dad and whatever. So this is a pretty old bed frame and now it's mine. I got some fairy lights, which I actually had in Barcelona, took them home with me, wrapped them around the headboard as well. Then this white bedding is from like Asda or something. Again, had it for ages. Then for my cushions, we have this pillow here. So basically I've got two white pillows which came with the bedding. And then we have this one here, which I'm so excited to finally use. I maybe should have ironed it before. I put on my bed but I just got too excited so this is from the company slip and this was given to me by the company current body which are a beauty technology specialist so essentially what is exciting about this pillow is that it's hundred percent pure silk pillowcase and basically silk is just a really great um, material to sleep on it's great for like anti-aging good for your skin helps you with like your hair from breaking and things like that so super excited to finally have that on my bed and this is the box here that I was telling you then these two pillows here are from Ikea I just bought the cushion covers for them and then used old cushions these two are both from Primark on my bed as well already owned them I didn't buy those yesterday so that is my bed I mean I really could do something on the walls but as I've already mentioned we are in a new house so we cannot put anything on the walls as of yet so that's my bed and then towards the bottom I just wrapped some more ivy my boyfriend and my sister thought that this was a little bit OTT so I'm gonna see how I feel about it over the week and then possibly take it down if it's a little bit you know too much I don't know let me know your thoughts down below and then for this corner here it's pretty small so I didn't have that much you know room to work with so I just popped this lamp this lamp is from Argos I got it yesterday you can probably see me in the <laughs> reflection it's just like this copper colored lamp yeah and it just sits in the corner and gives a really nice lighting to the room this lampshade is from Ikea and it just really nicely disperses the light around the room it's not on at the moment but you know I got that yesterday 
another detail to show you. And then for the window ledge, I got most of this all yesterday. So this is a real plant, finally. This is another ivy plant and the basket is also from Ikea. I already owned this little triangle. I think I got this from Amazon, possibly, but it's just one of those like geraniums and I keep my rings inside. Then moving along, I have this little pot here, which is just like a sauces dish for serving and like hosting guests, but I popped like my spare change in there, most of which are euros, which are useless. Then moving along again, both of these I got in Ikea yesterday. So this pot is from Ikea, this comes as like a one -er. this is all real like cactus kind of little selection. And then these two candles here are unscented and obviously as you can see they're different heights. So that is the window ledge there and then finally we have my wardrobe. I only purchased the doors yesterday, I already had the wardrobe frame. So I decided to go with a white, a mirror and then a white. So I can use the mirror obviously, we all need a mirror in our lives. But I didn't want it to all be mirrors so I got two white to kind of go with the bedding, go with the walls, just look nice and clean. So that is my wardrobe, it's obviously got three panels and then I just keep everything in there. Not the most exciting. And then this is like a faux sheepskin rug which is from Ikea. And then my shoes are all down here in these pull-out drawers. So this is my boots and then I have my heels in that one which is great. So that is that. Okay. And that is my room. Woo! So that is my room tour. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked seeing how I worked with what I already had. Just bought, bought bits and pieces, all super cheap from places like Ikea and Asda and all that sort of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a thumbs up if you did like watching this video and if you have anything to say down below in the comments then definitely go ahead. I love talking to you guys in the comments. It makes my day and of course Instagram socials will all be down in the description if you want to check me out over there and I will see you soon in my next video.